Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Colo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we're going to be um, working on achieving this hairstyle. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I um, get this look. I've been wearing my hair like this a lot lately, and I get a lot of compliments on this uh, hairstyle on myself. What it is, is a stretched twist out, um, but I get it stretched from day one. And um, I'm going to show you guys the process I took it's really simple and easy um, but I like this because I don't have to use so many combs in order to tease tease my hair to get um, maximum volume the products I use do help me to achieve this look pretty simply so don't forget I do have a giveaway going on on my previous video which is on how I got this makeup look today if you're wondering what's on my lips I can just tell you it's the Fenty Beauty freckle fiesta um, but I am doing a giveaway of my thousand subscriber giveaway and I'm giving away a um, hundred dollar Sephora gift card to one of my fabulous subscribers. Thank you so very much for um, watching and for subscribing and for liking and for commenting and for interacting with me. Getting to a thousand subscribers for me is a really big deal. Um, yeah, it's a really big deal. Um, but thank you so much for supporting my channel. And with that being said, don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe. Um, it actually does help to spread the word so that others can enjoy the same footage you're enjoying too. Let's get into this video. This hairstyle is what I call my stretched twist out, okay? Ouch. So it gives me um, kind of the volume that you would get with a an afro but without having to tease my hair and comb my hair because if I wear my hair in an afro like um, I there's a lot of picking and I don't like having to pick my hair which is why I can't wear my hair as much as I love my hair in a fro I can't wear my hair in a fro um, very often so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today a simple stretched twist out for this you're going to need your favorite leave-in conditioner Okay, the one I use is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. This is what she looks like here. I apologize for the lighting. You know, this one I'm literally like, it's empty. I'm not even gonna lie, like this is like, <laughs> I've hit rock bottom with that one. So, and I thought I was ordering the right one, but I ordered instead um, on Amazon the Cantu Shea Butter Grow Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment. It strengthens fragile strands, protects from heat damage. It's a little thicker than the leave-in conditioner. However, it is still very moisturizing. So I'm gonna be using this instead. You're gonna need, well, I use some black Jamaican castor oil as well as my favorite wild growth hair oil. I'm gonna be doing seven twists in total. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So this, process probably takes about 20 minutes and you can actually do this in the morning like before you go into the shower and stuff and your hair will still come out nicely one thing to keep in mind is when doing this kind of um, style um, you're going to get a lot more stretch and not as much definition like if you just did a regular twist out I'm just gonna scrape what's left of the um, Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Repair, Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, I love the way this line smells. And I'm gonna go in with also a little bit of the Cantu Shea Butter Grow Strong Strengthening Repair Cream. And right in the same, like I'm literally pouring everything into my hand like this. I'm gonna pour some, some black Jamaican castor oil. I know some people will put the cream first and the oil next and the oil next and the or whatever. Honestly, just pour the, just pour it, okay? I put like five or six drops of the wild grown hair oil. I am now focusing mainly on my ends. This is the part that's gonna need the most moisture because I've been, you know, sleeping on it a, a lot lately. I'm just sleeping on my hair. So this way, I, I'm going to be able to easily kind of just lightly detangle my hair so as you can see my hair is now um, moisturized but also it's detangled I can now you know run my hand through my hair 
before I couldn't do so so easily. So now I'm gonna take a Denman. It helps to reduce frizz just a little bit, but still maintains volume within my hair. And I separate into two, well, two even pieces like so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and twist. That's one twist down. So yeah, I'm gonna go in on this side of my hair and I'm just gonna separate the back portion again. Let me know if um, I look a little different. I just got, well, I didn't just get, I definitely got this camera about five weeks ago. I, this is my first, so I'm just getting around to play with, playing with it. But is my fil is the filming quality a little better? I'm playing around with the settings and stuff. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to do the last three sections, then I'm gonna come back so that I can show you guys how I actually do the stretching portion. Um, of my hair, what I use for those in order to get the nice fluffy stuff. You can see that it's starting to kind of shrink a little bit because of the product in it, like it's not as um, stretched. So what I'm gonna go in with are these, um, I believe these are called slide end clips or uh, duck, mini duck clips, like the metal clips. You use these to hold in curls and stuff. I'm just gonna take a few, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these to pin and stretch my hair um, so that my hair dries in a stretch state versus um, in a shrunken state. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna start from the back, take this piece and just cross it over to the other side, like so. And I'm just gonna go in and clip. And this piece over here, I'm gonna bring it over to the other side. Pin into place. This piece here, just gonna drag it back this way. So now that that's done, I'm going to take some more wild gold hair oil. Y'all know this is my favorite hair oil. I love this stuff on my scalp. And I'm going to go in with my famous red scarf take this and tie this around on my head like so then we're gonna go in with our bonnet I know it looks like a lot of protection but one I don't want to get oils all over my pillow because that's not good for my face and two I really want to make sure that my style is Protect, especially because you have all those clips in your hair. You don't want, you know, a lot of friction and movement. So, yep, that's pretty much that. I'm gonna go to sleep and we're gonna take this down tomorrow morning. Okay, so to take my hair out, I know I look like a completely different person. That's what happens after I do my makeup. <laughs> Literally, like a whole nother person. So, I'm just gonna take these clips out yes so I'm just taking the twists out loosening them up like so and you can see we have definition but at the same time our hair is dry and our hair is stretched well my hair is dry and my hair is stretched I'm going in now and I'm just separating 
my strands. It's going to be a lot of separating, a lot of fluffing, but only with my hands. That's why I prefer this um, style versus wearing my hair in, in a fro. So I'm not looking for a precise definition. I'm just looking for maximum volume. So I'm definitely sacrificing some definition, but it doesn't matter to me because what I want from this style is the volume. I'm separating each half of each um, of the seven sections probably about 10 times. Like I prefer to wear my hair over to the side. just fluffing it out. Let me zoom out a little. Okay. So basically this is my hairstyle for the next three days. <laughs> um, I like it. It's quick. It's easy. It's less tension on my hair and I get to still wear my hair in um, a bit of a, an afro style. So that is it for this stretch twist out look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's a simple way for you to get enough volume and definition without having to go in with too many combs to get um, you know, a nice big shape. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to enter my giveaway, my thousand subscriber giveaway, which is happening on my previous video um, on how I got this makeup look. Do not forget to, to like, comment, and to subscribe on your way out. And let me know in the comment section what other videos or hairstyles you would like to, me to try out and experiment with. I don't mind. I'm trying my very hardest to branch out a little more with the way I wear my hair and the hairstyles I do try out. All right, I hope to see you in another video very soon. Until then, stay blessed and stay golden.